Millions of people around the world use period tracking apps. But tech entrepreneur Jenny Button says there's been a lack of innovation in menstrual products that gives consumers unique and usable data over their own bodies, an opportunity her company M is tapping into. So this is the first female health biowearable. This product has an integrated sensor system for users to monitor their own biometrics, menstrual volume, flow and cycle, which are all potential indicators of health. It's in beta testing, awaiting regulatory approval before release in the UK and US. Privacy advocates have expressed concern over how period tracking data could be used to prosecute people who've had abortions since many US states outlawed it in the last year. To prevent that from happening, M is using tokenization, where users can access their data, but the company doesn't hold the names in their system. Something which was important to us at the beginning was to find a way to use the groups of data to benefit society but protect individuals' privacy. And to that end, we've made the data in our product anonymous. So whilst we're able to see menstrual patterns at scale and use those in research, we're not able to access individual user data which is associated with a particular name or identifiable information. Nearly one third of women in the United States use digital tools to track their periods, to monitor their cycles and health, or plan for or avoid pregnancy. As many as half of all U.S. states have banned and restricted abortions or may introduce laws to do so soon, leading to greater scrutiny of health data. At the same time, many tech companies see the benefit of collecting data en masse to better understand our health. I think individuals' privacy in regards to their health is just paramount to a well-functioning society. But having data on your body used in combination with other people's to understand how better to improve the general health and well-being of the population is also the responsibility of everybody who's using this kind of product. Some US lawmakers are pushing to modernise health privacy laws. One bill called My Body, My Data would limit the information companies, individuals and non-profits can collect about sexual health and terminations to stop them sharing it without explicit consent. Health data is protected under US federal law in medical settings but not on mobile phones. So there is room to update these laws to better protect people's private information in a new tech-led world. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.